We arrive in the city of Cologne on an early wintry November morning. After a generous breakfast, we headed down the rampart to find our waiting tourist guide. The German tourist guides were all professional yet friendly and accommodating. The highlight of the tour is the Cologne Cathedral, which we already had a glimpse of as our riverboat Viking Scotty approached the city earlier in the morning. I noticed a hotel called Ryan Hotel, appropriately named because it is located near the banks of the Ryan River. As we approach the dome, also known as Cathedral, we were all, of course, very excited to, to be in the vicinity of this work of art. It looks so majestic from near and afar. It had been standing for centuries now. As you can see by the scaffolding outside the Cathedral, work is continuously being done to ensure that it keeps on standing for the next centuries to come. Inside the cathedral, there are so many works of art to appreciate, including relics from the past, way back in Jesus Christ's time. The remains of the three kings, the Magi, are in the golden ark in the area of the altar. I'm not sure how much of the Three Kings remains are kept in this cathedral, but to just learn that there are remains from the time of Jesus is mind-boggling. After the tour of the church's interior, we decided to return to Scotty for lunch. After lunch, we toured the cathedral area on our own, visiting souvenir shops and even a Louis Vuitton shop. We also visited the chocolate museum, where I found out it is so hard to control my shopping impulse. With the help of my wife, I managed to depart the premises without buying Good thing I didn't indulge in any chocolate spending or eating because the theme of Scotty's evening program was Bavarian night. The dinner was excellent as always. What else? An array of German fare to enjoy. Compliments to the kitchen and dining crews. Of course, after indulging in the dining room, the next stop was some more fun upstairs in the lounge area. 
The singer and pianist was ready for us, playing an eclectic selection of danceable music. A group even started to do a conga line. The following morning, we arrived in the Nether Netherlands, in a windmill town named Kinderdijk. This was a very unique experience, being able to see multiple windmills in one area. We learned that people could live in a windmill after passing some training and stringent requirements. We were able to tour the interior of a windmill where a family used to live. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please click on the thumbs up below. With your support, I'll be able to continue producing more interesting videos for your enjoyment. Besides click, clicking on the thumbs up, please click on the subscribe button also below. Thank you and I hope to hear from you next time. Come visit us again, okay?